Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here at the cabin in the woods again today, I'm doing a one hour challenge uh, for bass. We're going for bass today. So I'm using uh, new products I got off of shopcarls.com. You guys know I partnered with Mystery Tackle Box. They have a website, shopcarls.com, where you can join, be a Carls Club member. You get big discounts on product and save. And today I'm using something finesse. We're going finesse for these bass. I'm using a hard hat jigs, deadbolt, mushroom head so it's kind of like a little ned rig head and then they have their own special ned rig bug it's called a sakoshi bug it's pretty sweet this one's kind of a red flake and a pearl color so it kind of mimics a shad kind of mimics a bluegill crawfish uh, depends how you fish it off the bottom so we're gonna go for some bass today with these little ned rig style baits off of the dock here on the cabin in the woods we're gonna fish for an hour see what giants are lurking down there but check out these mushroom heads. They're pretty awesome. They have a bait saver uh, and their Sakoshi bugs are a Laztec plastic. So they stretch on you and you don't have to switch out your plastics a bunch when you catch a bunch of fish. So we're going to start with that. Go check them out. Links down below. Shop Carl's website and you can get a discount as well. Pretty cool club. So let's get started. We're going to be fishing these off the bottom today. I'm going to try to give you guys some tips on how to fish these baits. And they're really good pond baits and really good as fall's approaching. And the winter months are cooling down. The bass start feeding more, coming in shallow. And as the water drops and gets colder, these baits are going to produce more and bigger fish. So uh, what better time than now to get you a tip video on using this baits, get you prepared to be using them, add them to your arsenal for wintertime fishing and colder weather that's coming. So if you haven't, subscribe to my YouTube channel. More tip videos to come as well as some fun times. Let's get started fishing. This is actually my first time using the little Sakoshi bug here. Had to get some of these, they look really cool. And I fished a Ned Rig a bunch in the winter time. And I just, I think a little presentation that's different than your traditional Ned baits might do the trick. So these look really good, super stretchy, I like that. And we're just gonna rig them here on this, this mushroom head and see if that's the ticket. Slide it all the way up there. And that will stay because of the Laztec. So, looks pretty good in my opinion. Let's give it a try. Let's go see if we can catch some on it. Looks good. Just going to cast it by shore here for starters. Bounce it off the bottom. See if any bass are hungry. It is 7.30, so this one hour challenge, we're going to try to catch 10 bass on this little Sakoshi bug. And uh, we, we have one hour starting now, 7.30. We're going to stop at 8.30. Starts getting dark then. This bait looks really good in the water. I like that. I hooked up, guys. It's my second cast of the day. All right, all right. I'll take that. First little pond bass. That's number one on the challenge to 10 in an hour. We might even beat that if they're going to eat like this. But they gotta get bigger, that's a dink. Check that out. First fish ever on the little Sakoshi bug. I like it. All right, let's keep going. What I'm doing, I'm letting it sink to the bottom. And I'm just kind of bouncing it quickly off the bottom all the way back. Uh, if the water was colder, I'd go a lot slower. I might even use a little lighter weight with my mushroom head, let it sink a little slower. But uh, with it's still being kind of summertime, just starting to transition to fall here, the end of August, September. You know, you guys up, up north, the water gets colder quicker, and uh, you want to slow down as the water cools off. There's one. Wasn't ready for that bite. I was about to reel it back in. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> you guys decide if this counts towards uh, one of my 10, but that is a giant bluegill. No way. That is so big. Look at that. It ate the Sakoshi bug. That's crazy. I was not expecting a bluegill to eat this thing, but we'll take him. <laughs> That's so big. So big, guys. Check that out. See ya. All right. Well, I'll let you guys decide if that counts as number two. I'm going to get back out there and keep hitting it. Whew. 
There's one. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a good one, guys. Oh my gosh. I gotta make sure my drag's set. Oh my goodness. Whatever I got is a giant. It was right next to this walkway out here. I haven't even seen it yet. Yeah, that's a good bass. Yeah. Oh, he spit it. How did he spit that? Oh my gosh. I was just playing him. Wow. That was crazy. That was like a four or five pound bass right there. He just spit it. Dang. Man. Turn my drag back up so I get a good hook set. I don't know how that bass got off. I really don't. That's a bummer. That would have been number three. We're not counting him. I gotta touch him. Let's get another big one. Sometimes finesse. You catch the bigger fish. They've seen a lot of baits and uh, you gotta throw them something they haven't seen. Something that goes right in front of their face. They just want to suck it in. That bass did. This pond gets fished a ton by bunch of different people and it's actually pretty hard to catch fish here oh there's how i pick it up there we go what do we got little guy oh my gosh <laughs> he got back in but i touched him that is number three since that big one didn't count sakoshi bug still hanging in there that last tech allows you to get a lot of fish out of one bait. Oh, I missed one. Bummer. Bummer. Right along this walkway, there's poles that go down in the water. And bass like hanging out next to any trees or poles you can find in your ponds or lakes. It's always a good spot to try. There's one. Yep. Come here, buddy. That's a decent one. Fat. Fat little guy. That'll word. Number four, a little pip squeak. But we'll take him. Four out of ten on our one hour challenge. Still going. Got a stump out here I'm casting towards. That's where that one bit at. Oh no, I hooked the stump. Sending it. Don't have time to retie the one hour challenge. Got it. A little pull trick there. Slide your pole down your line, you'll get your lure back. There's one. Oh my gosh, I cast way up this creek channel. Got hooked up way back in here. Right out in the middle. It's like they're wanting to be in the deeper water today. There we go. And we're counting that one. That was number five. Let's go. Shoot. I uh, broke off. No, I'm only halfway there. I broke off way up in the creek channel. There was no getting that one. All right, let's see here. What time we got? 8.02. I got 28 minutes. We're just over halfway done with the one hour challenge. I got to put on new bait. Get out another little Sakoshi bug here. There we go. This smell pretty good. And I'm gonna put him on another mushroom head. Just like that. You want that thing as straight up and down as you can get it. So, let's go. There we go. I'm hooked up, guys. Yeah, first cast after I tied the new one on. That'll work. Number six. Yep. Nice little guy. Say what's up to the viewers. Hey, buddies. There's we, yep, hooked up. There we go. Woo, number seven. Sweet. I don't know where the big ones are, but I'm almost at my goal of 10. It's not taking too long on this side now. It's only 8.05. So in three minutes, I tied on a new lure 
and I've caught two bass. Sweet. This little guy's deadly, tell you what. We are walking to the other side of the pond here. I know I'm taking time off the clock. It is ticking and it's 8 10. I have 20 minutes. We are seven fish in. We're going to go over here. I'm going to risk it. I know there's some stumps. This bait is not weedless, but I'm going to try to just fish it as much as I can around the stumps without getting hung up. See if we get a few more over here. Here we go. Yes, the stump right out here. First cast on this side. Oh, I'm hooked up, guys. <laughs> Little guy. That's number eight, though. That thing was so tiny. All right, let's go. That's number eight. We're going to beat this 10 fish challenge. There we go. Oh, I got a decent one here. Just kidding. <laughs> what the heck? I got a crappie. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, guys. I've caught a bluegill and a crappie on the Sakoshi bug. That's nuts. Wow, that thing's like a 10, 12 inch crappie. That's a good one. Jeez. Well, you guys decide if that one counts. That's hilarious. I got two fish that I don't know if even count towards this, this 10 fish challenge. We're not gonna count him. Oh, missed one. So we're gonna say I'm still at eight. Time we got, 8.14. I gotta get two more here in 15 minutes. I think I can do that. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, I got a giant. Oh my goodness sakes. Did you hear him pull drag? Oh, man. Yes. Oh, not a giant. But for eight pound test, that is a good one. Yeah. Look at that. That's a two and a half on the Sakoshi bug. Check that out. That'll work. Man, he pulled drag. I thought I had a five pounder on. Wow. It's crazy when you're used to fishing bait casters with heavy line. How much of a difference and how bigger these fish how bigger makes the fish feel huge let's get another one that's number nine type my drag back up here make sure i get that good hook set okay 816 i have 14 minutes left to catch uh one fish that's doable for sure there we go oh he got off he got off oh well he's too small anyway there we go hooked up we got us another one this one's not getting off he's plenty big number 10 Woo! all right guys there you have it i completed the 10 bass challenge in one hour and uh, that's not counting the bluegill and crappie what time is it it's 8 18 i'm gonna keep fishing for a little bit and see how many we can catch in this one hour that's awesome have you guys ever tried a one hour challenge what's crazy is they're just hitting right out here like i'm barely having to cast this thing there we go another one guys right next to shore here number 11 let's keep going let's keep going we still got some time there's one. Oh, he got off Oh no, he put me right into this bush. That's the end of it. Okay, so it's 821. I got nine minutes left in this challenge and I just broke off my last mushroom head that I had. I only brought two with me, which was not smart, but in a one hour challenge, I didn't think I'd break off two. I accidentally set the hook, it came out of the water, went right in a tree and I broke it off. But lost two today and uh, caught 11 bass. So beat the one hour challenge is actually a 51 minute challenge. Also caught that giant crappie and the giant bluegill. Pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have to buy some more baits off Shop Carl's. Uh, they have some pretty good discounts on some stuff. So if you guys are in the market to buy some baits, they carry tons of major brands of baits at a really discounted price if you're a part of their membership club. So make sure you go check it out. I'll put that link down below. So yeah, we're gonna catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby. Oh my gosh, there's a stick bug on the window of the cabin here. Check this out, guys. That's crazy. That thing looks just like a stick. It's got four legs on it. Look at that. 
That is crazy looking. Huh. It's pretty big, you know? It's the size of my hand. I'm kind of scared to touch it. Anyways, just a beautiful night out here. It's always fun getting out, doing a little fishing in the evenings after I get off work. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you next time on Fishing with Norby.